on me. Lead. Lead. This snowhawk ain't working out on TV. Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. I'm Lisa. <laughs> Today on the show, we're going to be talking about two events being celebrated. Okay. One of them is check your blood pressure. Oh. Okay. It's all about getting to know your numbers. Yes. My numbers run low, so Mine I have do low too. blood pressure. Mine do too. They always think I'm half dead when they when I go in and they take my <laughs> blood pressure because it's 90 over 60, and they're like, do you feel okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel great. Yep. But I can tell when my blood pressure is up, like if I'm hurting or if I'm aggravated about something, like when it starts going up, I can tell you in can my body. Feel it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can I can feel it. Mm -hmm. But you can find a machine at any Walmart, any drugstore, have your coworker check it mm -hmm. for you. Don't do it while you're on duty, but do it, you know, on your break. And uh, just be important and know the signs of high blood pressure and low blood pressure as well. Mm -hmm. And then the second is actually Common Sense Day. Oh, wow. I know Never some, knew I know some invented. people who should be celebrating that. <laughs> we won't mention any names. And some interesting facts about that. It started with Thomas Paine. Mm -hmm. He wrote about common sense in 1776. And the article was actually about the need for independence of the British colonies in North America. Wow. So that makes you think. As much as the Republicans and the Democrats are fighting, maybe somebody needs to write a common sense mm -hmm. paper again. Right, right. You know, I mean, because I just, it's wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. There were 13, um, I guess, articles, and they believe that this article inspired the American Revolution. Hmm, very interesting. Mm -hmm. So today, just at um, before you think, I know sometimes I speak before I think, <laughs> get tongue tied and stuff. But just just be nice. Um, you know, if you're in doubt of a certain situation, um, you know, go to someone and talk it over with them and. Um, make sure that you um, use common sense about And you know, common sense. You know? Not everybody's born with common sense. Mm -mm. And I have no. known some people who have master's degrees. Mm -hmm. Very educated people, but when it comes down to common sense, they don't mm -hmm. have it. Yeah. And um, it's, it's kind of scary in a way to, you know, because you would think mm -hmm. everyone would have common sense, mm -hmm. but you don't. Right. You don't. Right. So it is, it's kind of scary. Yeah, it is. You know, that's probably why we have so many people flying off the the handle and so many people that get, you know, road rage and they go into mm -hmm. the office buildings and they're shooting their place up. And, it, you know, it's mental illness, yes, but some of it may just not, they don't have a lot of common sense to be able to figure out what how they need to handle a certain right. situation. Right. So um, remember to get your blood pressures checked. Uh, remember to use common sense. That's very important. Um, you know, no matter what type of work setting um, you're in, um, CNAs need to have common sense. Mm -hmm. I, I think mean, most CNAs do. They do. I think that's kind of a quality of what makes a great CNA. It is. So, so just be mindful of yourself. Be mindful of, of others. Um, seek out someone else for advice if you're unsure about how to handle things. Mm -hmm. um, you can reach out to me. You can reach out to Lori. Any of the the NACA staff members can help you out on any um, situations. The NACA board of directors would be mm -hmm. more than willing. Um, there is no right or wrong um, in this situation. If you're unsure, just reach out to us on any type of problem that you may have. And... Uh, have a great Monday, and uh, till we see you again, remember, you, you matter. matter.